Well, my name is Ron Richard, and um, I knew nothing about the fire department, really. So uh, I took the test, but I was 35, a little old to be coming on the fire department. So I, consequently, I only had 30 years on. I, I came on in East Boston, and I didn't particularly care it. Uh, care about it over there, so I went in the downtown in the, in the back bay at Engine 10, and, uh, and I was there for uh, close to 20 years. And uh, it was a company by itself, which I liked. Uh, we were very proficient in that everybody did everything, and, and we were fairly busy. We went all over the city, and we went to a lot of multiple alarms. And, um, and I enjoyed it there, but we were only there for 20 years, and then they moved us to the financial district. And, and uh, I went from a single house with, we were three or four guys working to maybe 12 guys working or nine or 10 guys working. That was kind of a shock. But, uh, but we got along good, and, and I liked the house there, too, and that was, and that was uh, good there. So I was there for uh, 10 years. What were some of the more serious fires you fought? Well, we went to the back bay. We had quite a few fires. I was at the Vendone. Uh, I was there when that collapsed, and uh, that, was pretty, uh, that was pretty tough. It's, to lose a civilian, that's, that's one thing. You don't want to lose anybody in the fire. But when you lose uh, people that you know, and, and uh, we had to dig those uh, poor fellows out. And um, during my, my career, uh, I was at uh, um, fires where 14 different men were killed. They were nine killed at the Vendone. Gibbons and Lentini were killed on Newbury Street in the Back Bay. I was there. And uh, we lost a, a, a captain over in Chelsea on mutual aid. Captain Trainer, he was killed over there. And on uh, New Year's Eve, and we lost two other firefighters in uh, Somerville. On, on uh, that was mutual aid also, so that's kind of tough to dig guys out. Yes, yes. Well, I was detailed to Ladder One in the North End, and we were going over there to relieve these guys around 4:30, and and we were going to relieve them at the fire. As we were crossing Commonwealth Avenue, the building came down. And we thought at first it was an explosion, all the dust and, you know, debris. But um, then we realized that there were men trapped in there. That was a lot of confusion. Now we have what they call a riding list. We know exactly what men are on what companies. But at that point in time, it was all chaos. We had no idea who was missing. So we had to really start digging around. We had no real tools to dig in those days. We had coal shovels. We needed spades. We needed entrenching tools to dig. But uh, uh, I, I noticed there was a, a, one of our engine ten lines coming out of the out, out of the building, and I started digging there, and I and I found McGee. I got two fellows from the uh, rescue the rescue two rescue pump up and we and we had him halfway dug out when someone tapped me in the shoulder and they wanted me to get into a hole because I was smaller and um, there was a fellow in 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 there and we were trying to dig him out and and I got him halfway out but it was too hot in there I had to, I had I had to give up because everybody was sort of like hanging over that hole instead of giving me air but that was Jameson, and I got one of his legs out. I, I couldn't get the other one out. But um, that was a long night. We didn't get out of there till about two o'clock in the morning. And, and um, uh, then we, of course, by that time we knew that everybody was, a, was accounted for. But, uh, but originally it was simply chaos because nothing like that has, has, has happened and that, you know, on that scale, you know? And uh, that was kind of traumatic. But all during the 70s, we lost a lot of fellas. Uh, I, I was on the job probably two months, and uh, a fellow by the name of Foley was killed over in West Roxbury. Uh, and a few months later, another fellow was killed in a, in a cemetery. Part of a lentil fell and hit him in the head and killed him. And um, we, were, we were losing guys left and right in those days because it was, it was busy.